Surprise! We have some exciting news and we just couldn't wait to put this video out. Dixie Belle has launched a new fall color line. There are five colors and I am gonna be debuting one of them right here, right now. The color is Juniper, which is just this amazing green color. It has beautiful, soft olive tones, and I am just so excited to get some paint on this dresser. So if you wanna see what this piece looks like with a little bit of juniper on it, you are in the right place. Let's get started. We're gonna remove the hardware. I just got so excited that I forgot to introduce myself. So if you're new here, I'm Lauren. Welcome to FFT, which is Furniture Flipping Teacher. I'm gonna just remove this hardware. It's, it's a little bit different type of hardware than I've ever seen before. And I'm kind of liking it, but I'm also definitely going to have to keep it because of the indent that it kind of makes. When I take this off, you know, there's this handle indention. And so if I were to change out that hardware, I would definitely have to fill this all in. But I personally think the hardware is pretty neat and unique. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping it, but I'll probably update the color a little bit. All right, and now that I've got all of my drawers out, we are ready to clean with some white lightning. All right, I've got my white lightning for cleaning. I got my double bucket for rinsing and cleaning. So we're just gonna do a spray over the entire piece. Another cricket. I am so tired of these crickets all around the shop. As a lot of you know, especially if you follow us on Instagram, we have been having issues with large spiders and crickets in and around our shop. We decided to try Sunday's smart pest plan to see if it would help put a stop to so many coming around. We loved how easy it was to start the smart pest plan with Sunday. All we had to do was start a free analysis and confirm which pests we struggled with the most at our shop, which were spiders and crickets for us. Based on the results of the analysis, they'll send you the best products to tackle the pests that you have at home. We ended up getting the Bug Doom, which is Sunday's perimeter powerhouse, and it's made up of two products an outdoor barrier treatment, and an indoor spot treatment. Sunday provides a fantastic and customizable pest control and prevention plan for your home and lawn. They're affordable, effective, and easy to use. And they're also sustainable and made from ingredients that you can trust. Take your free pest analysis today and get started with $10 off your pest control plan with Sunday by clicking the link below. Thanks Sunday for sponsoring this video. Now that we got the bug situation figured out and my piece is clean, we're ready to do some scuff sanding. Okay, so I am going to be scuff sanding the base of this and the kind of framing. I'm gonna be using my surf prep sander. I've got a 220 grit for scuff sanding, which means it's not gonna take the um, finish off necessarily, but it's just gonna roughen up the surface just enough for that paint to adhere really well. While I was sanding, I did see a little bit of some damages here that I need to go ahead and fill. And they're a little bit of some bigger gouges. So I am going to take out my 
quick wood, which is an epoxy based wood filler, but also you can kind of mold it to any sort of design that you want to. These drawers look beautiful. I started out with an 80 grit to kind of just get all of that first surface off. Then I went up to a 120 grit, which is a little bit less gritty. And then that kind of smoothed it out a little bit more. And then I ended on a 220 grit to give it just a really nice smooth surface, but yet it still does have a little bit of texture because I am actually gonna be adding some stain to that. So I'm still waiting on my quick wood to dry over here. So since that's still drying and I can't really paint, we're gonna go ahead and apply the stain. I'm gonna be using the Voodoo Gel Stain in the color Tobacco Road, and this is actually a water-based stain. That's going to help a lot with the dry time as well as the top coat and different things like that. I am going to just put it on my surface and then we're gonna wipe it back with a lint-free cloth. And I, I chose this color and then I kind of swatched it out on a piece of smaller wood just to see what it was going to be like when it dried and things like that. And I think that this color, since this color wood is really close to this drawer, I think this brown is going to be able to pair really well with the juniper that I'm going to be painting the rest of it. That does it for the Voodoo Gel Stain. Okay, now that we've got the drawers drying over there, I am going to switch gears back to sanding and sand down the legs because I decided that I want the legs to also look like the drawers. So we need to have raw wood in order to get that look. Now that all of the sanding is done, which I kind of put myself in that position a lot where I just get to sanding and the wood looks so beautiful that I just want to keep going and going and going. But anyway, now that all that's done, I am ready to go ahead and apply my Voodoo Gel Stain, just like I did to the drawers, down here to the legs.
All right, we're ready to get some paint on this guy. All right, I'm gonna be using this color Juniper like I showed you earlier. It's gorgeous. I've also got my Mr. Bottle here because, you know, in order to get that more smooth look and smooth finish, you definitely want to water down and make sure that your paint never dries out as you're stroking across the surface. We don't have too much surface area to cover. We're only doing the top and the two sides because the drawers, as you already know, are brown. So this shouldn't take us too long, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, finished up with that first coat of green, and so we're gonna let that dry. While the first coat of juniper is drying, which by the way, it's looking lovely, especially with the brown tones on the bottom legs. Oh, I think this one's gonna be great. Anyway, while that's drying, we are gonna come over here. You guys know how I don't like to waste any time, so I'm coming over here to do a top coat on the drawers. I'm gonna be using the flat top coat. The reason we need to top coat this is just to protect it. And I wanna use flat because I don't really wanna lose the look of it, but I still know that it needs to be protected. So if I were to use a satin or a gloss, that would be a little bit more shiny. And as you can see, this is not shiny. So I wanna keep that shininess away. So we're gonna do flat, which is more of a matte coat. All right, and just like that, our top coat is on the drawers. As you can see, this is the wet one, and then this is over here where it's already dried. So that is how it's gonna look, and it's looking great. I'm really pleased with the outcome of this. We're gonna head back over to the Juniper and get a second coat on that. All right, the second coat is on, so we're ready to attach the hardware. I did go ahead and spray paint it with some gold Krylon paint, and so I think that that is gonna pop just a lot better than that silver. That gold looks good. I think this is coming together really nicely.
just a couple more steps until this thing is finished. We've got to wait to top coat that until it dries for probably about 30 minutes to an hour, and then we will get to assemble everything. This first and second coat of paint just really dried well, and I can barely see any brush strokes, which is a really hard look to achieve, especially when you are using chalk paint, which usually isn't a self-leveling paint. So I'm really pleased with the way that this is turning out. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Dixie Bells clear coat in the flat, just like I did to the fronts of the drawers. I'm gonna put that on the Juniper here. All right, the top coat is on. So once that dries, I am gonna head over to the staging wall and we're gonna assemble this and see how it looks all put back together. We're ready to assemble. We've got all the drawers over here, the dressers over here, and then also I'm excited to be using another new product. There was also released a new Big Mama's Butter and the scent is flannel. It smells a lot like cologne, honestly, to me at least. So it's kind of woodsy, cedar. It, it smells really good. So I am going to be using this to just butter up my drawer slides to make the drawers slide a little bit easier along with the slides on the actual drawers. I'm using La Petite brush. Just rub it along that slide. And that'll just butter it up, give it a little bit of moisture, make it a lot easier to slide in and out. Voila, the juniper really dried well and the finish is amazing. The combo of the wood and the juniper came together really well. I love the way that this is a two-tone dresser. You guys know that I am really loving those two tones and I think you guys are too. Just being able to keep some wood tones has been really fun for me. I was so glad that I was able to save the wood still, even if I did turn it into another color. And I really enjoyed using that water-based Voodoo gel stain because it was super quick to dry and I was still able to use that flat water-based clear coat as well. Like I said in the beginning of this video, Dixie Belle came out with five new colors. So this is just one of them. And actually, a little bit later today over on Dixie Belle's channel, I did a dresser that I did the color Cashmere. The other three colors are amazing as well and I can't wait to use them in some upcoming flips. Let me know down in the comments which of the five new fall colors you are most excited about using. I know that Juniper was definitely the top one on my list and I again just love the way that it turned out so get your Dixie Belle paint today there is a link to all five colors down in the description box below as well as the flannel Big Mama's Butter I've got this listed for just $300 over on Facebook Marketplace for a couple of days now and no hits just yet, but I am confident just because of the trendiness of this combo of colors that it will sell in no time. 
head over to Instagram and follow us at Furniture Flipping Teacher, where we will do a lot of behind the scenes of me painting and things like that. But also we update you guys on when our furniture sells. So we would love to have you be a part of our community over there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching on a Wednesday. And I hope you're enjoying all this content because not only do you get this video, but you get one on Dixie Bell's channel. We will be here tomorrow on Thursday for a video you do not want to miss. And then again, of course, over on Dixie Bell's channel for FFT Friday. Lots of furniture flipping teacher for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.